Okay, so um, what we have here is a um, it's a Pi 4B, and I've just um, well, these have been removed for some other purpose. Um, but what we're doing at the moment is we're running um, AGS 2.7 inside um, the AmiBerry emulator. And um, if we quit out of it, you'll see that it's um, this Pi Mega distribution, Pi Mega 4, but it's the one that's for the Raspberry Pi 4. And it seems to work a bit better than um, the one that also works for the Pi 5. I'm not sure whether it's just my impression or the SD card. Or something else but um, I was seeing it break up especially with the audio the audio does sound pretty smooth so um, it doesn't actually get very hot at all just just um, Heat sink is just sitting, sitting there, so yes, there's no heat on it. Um, that's quite good, and the uh, emulation looks like it's um, pretty smooth. had issues before with the Pi 4, um, the little glitches in the audio, um, but even running um, demos seems to be doing okay. This one, this one here, oh, I can just press enter, so it skips over music. Okay, so this is, yeah, the, the Pi 4 and this is the, the Pi 5. And uh, the price difference is, is, is quite similar, but I guess you could get away maybe with the... It's not much. Like this one would be around $100 or so. That's not US dollars. It's probably about... Maybe it's less than $60 US. And this one here is maybe around $40. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of a price difference, um, but you get a lot more computing power out of this one. But if you have this one lying around, um, oh, so this is the music that you always hear in the, um, it's pretty cool. See here, a bit of glitching there, but it's pretty minor. It sort of picks up quite quickly after, um, coming back from uh, the game. Yeah, it just seems pretty stable. Um, so I'll include the link to the video where you can find this particular distribution. Um, but what I've got, what I've done as well, just out of curiosity as to um, what I've done, go back to the focus for a second, is I've gone in here and um, we'll load this one up. If you go to hard drives, you'll see that the game selector hopefully has been chosen. No, I didn't save the settings, so yeah, that's the right changed it to the latest game selector and then what else do we have ah the speed doesn't need to be as fast i don't know because this is just been designed for the it's been designed for the actual real hardware so but it seems to work quite fine inside this um 
inside this pie. Pie four with a um, little token heatsink. Otherwise, there you have it. It's still, I mean, a little bit of warmth on it, but it's not not warm at all. So we'll put a little little token heatsink back on. And um, the delay, and then it comes on. And this seems to be working great, so we'll play a random demo, see if that works. There we go, something seems to load. That's that one there. Um, it's only one game that bugs me that really just works like crazy, and um, we'll just try a game that works first. How about I like this one a lot? The good thing on this, you can always plug in a controller and it works pretty much plug and play, and it's also um, MIDI works as well um, very easily got a USB to MIDI cable then um, you just need to select it pretty much inside the um, I'll show you if you've got a MIDI, MIDI USB to MIDI cable and you've got a keyboard and you want to control it with the Amiga you want to control the Amiga or put notes into it um, you go here it's got a MIDI port and um, it'll show it'll just, it'll just pull up whatever you have um, it'll appear in here if you plug something USB it's quite magic um, so that's that one, but um, let's go down to uh, this game's done pretty well. And yeah, it just loads. Great. One is it? Can't remember the, the procedure to start this game. There you go. So that's the demo. Can't seem to get any credits on. But uh, 